does the does the black man have in his community does he have do we have laws that he really abide by? No sir. Whatever they tell us, that's what we do. And then look at the look at the uh, results of it all. White men that took our sovereignty. We have no sovereignty right. and we do not respect each other. The only time we can walk together is when we're doing marches, right? After one of our people dies. What happens during those marches a lot of the times? What happens during those marches? Outside of the police beating us and all that, what happens during those marches? Whenever we gather together. Conflict. Trouble. We start fighting with each other because we don't have morals. We don't have no moral guidelines. We follow the laws of the land according to the white man, but we ourselves have no morals within ourselves. That's what the, that's what the laws of God is supposed to be. Those morals for us to know how to treat one another. There's no real love in our community these days. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. Read. Even as the Lord my God commanded me Green. that ye should do so in the land where ye go to possess it. We didn't do that. We didn't do the laws in the land that God gave us to possess. It talk about Jerusalem. We didn't do our laws. Read. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom. They said what? For this is your wisdom. This is the so-called black man's wisdom. So-called uh, Hispanic man's wisdom. The Native American man's wisdom. Read. And your understanding. And what? Your understanding. Read. In the sight of the nation. Read. Which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. When they look at the blacks and Spanish and Native Americans today, do they say that this is a wise and understanding people? No. Do they see that in us right now? No. When we're selling drugs to each other? No. When we're wearing, when we're listening to the music, the clothes we wear, having our having our pants sagged behind our butts, no. under our butts and stuff like that, does that no. look like wisdom to y'all? No, that we're laughing stocks on this earth right now. Yeah. We're laughing stocks. No, at all. We have whatever they say is okay, whatever the white man says okay, we go along with it. Yeah. Give me that in Isaiah 5 real quick, then we're going to go back to Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to answer your question because you asked about heaven too, right? Well, I got another thing to say. Okay, go ahead. Okay. What you got? I feel like, I want to say very, I want to say it for everybody. We're, we are saved by grace, not by works, okay? And we are all God's Sis. people, white people, Mexican people, Sis. Asian people, black people. Sis. We're all Do you believe in God? Yes. Do you love God? Yes. You make a good wife. Sir. Again, did I write this book? Okay. Black you people are. Did I write this book? I'm asking you a question. Sir. No, no, no. But you as a black person, everybody as a black person, that doesn't make you hear other people here. Okay? God's That's people are of all colors. Look, we're not. Look, why, look, look, look. Is a white man at the bottom of society right now? In what country? America? No. No, or in any other country. They got uh, all over the earth. Oh, they have they have uh, they have an uh, army bases stationed up throughout all the earth. They have all the money. They rule. They make laws. They make rules. They are not. Where are they being saved from, sis? They just recently with the African tribe. So you think that black people are better than white people? Listen, I think what the Bible says is things, sis. But I want I want to show you something real quick. I want to show you something. Give me this. Isaiah chapter five. He is cute. Yes, verse thirteen. Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 13. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. The so called black suspense and Native Americans went into this right here. So we're going to totally embrace chattel, chattel slavery. They went into this right here. It said, Therefore, my people, the Israelites, have gone into captivity. And they Read. Still, and they because they have no knowledge. And their honorable, honorable men. Talk about the older men and the older sisters, read. Are famished. Are famished men, they don't have no they knowledge. Have no They're knowledge. not teaching. Yes, we don't sir. have nobody standing up for us. Yes, That's what we're doing. That's, you see these men in purple right now? With our golden fringes? We're trying to stand up for the people who do not have any wisdom I, right now. That's why we out here. Why, why, why would we sit here and talk about the white man? He's doing fine. Right. He don't need our help. Our people need our help right That's now. Right. He don't need our help. Yeah. This is. Your brothers and your sisters right now are in got, poverty. We drunk. sit on this corner of the streets drunken. Drunk. Read what you got. And no. our honorable men are famished. Verse 14. Verse 14. Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself. You asked the question about what is heaven, about heaven and hell. Who's going to heaven or who's going to hell? The white man right now is in his heaven. Jesus. This is his heaven right here. Look, listen, Look listen, listen, Look listen, sis. Listen, listen, listen. Verse 13. Verse 13. Top. 
Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. Go down to verse 14. Verse 14. Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself. God is letting the distinction right here that, hey, listen, if you are in captivity, it means that you are in hell. Yes. The people who rule, they are in their heaven because they're the ones establishing the laws. They're the ones establishing the rules. So believe, they're the ones so running believe, the things. You believe, we don't run nothing. Oh my God. So you we believe, run nothing at all. That these people wait. should be forgiven. Who? Is it your place to forgive these people for slaughtering our people? That's your place. You've done bad things in your life too, so you that's, that's here nor there. That's not the question. Yeah, but you, no, 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 no. no. Like those. I, I, everybody, 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 Require of thee. So when Moses is out there and he's talking it's to his people, the Israelites, no, okay, let's just, let's, just, let's, just, let's just play, let me play devil's advocate. This let's just say that people, we don't know she who the Israelites are, okay? Let's just play she devil's advocate. For us. One second. He Some said, Israel, Israel, what do I require of you? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. It says for thy good, now seven and six. That is for our good. Keeping the commandments, because commandments protect the community, black community from harming itself. That's it right. how to love one another. We don't need to worry about the other nations. They're not worried about us. Right. Do the, what, what, when's the last time they came through here and cleaned up your community? I have something to say. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So God says that the Israelites are holy. Meaning, what, what does holy mean? Uh, favored by God. Favored, separate. You have a certain pair of shoes that's your favorite shoes. Those shoes are separate. You probably keep them in a box. You keep them clean. You keep them away from, every, from the dirt and all that, right? Okay, read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. Now he says that the Israelites are a special people that he chose. Read. Unto himself. To himself, to be close to him. Read. Above. Wait. It said what? Above. Read again. Above all people. Wait, is that equal to? Read it out. Is that below? Read it out. I'm reading the Bible right here, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. That's Break right. Break yeah. Read again. For thou art an holy people this unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's so God right. said the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel, are the people that he chose to be above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Yes, we read in Deuteronomy 10 and 12 that we have requirements to follow. Look at kings and queens, right? Because you ever see a queen walking around wearing pants? Is she over there shaking her things? Shaking her rear end? She ain't doing none of that? She carries herself a certain way. She has certain rules that she abides by. That's her air about her. It's the same thing with us. But we haven't been doing that. That's Please why we at the bottom. Up. That is why we're at the bottom. I understand what you're saying. I, I understand what you're saying completely. But you cannot say that. I'm not saying nothing. That's okay, the okay, that's okay. the difference we're having right here. That's a miscommunication. Okay. I'm reading the Bible. Yes. I'm not saying nothing. Yes. Okay, okay, we I agree with this right here. Keep going. Go ahead. We are oh. special, but white people also are special people. Where's that in this book? Give me that Isaiah 53. Yeah. Where are they saved from? Again, they're in heaven right now. They run everything. Where are they being saved from? There are white people on the street that are homeless that are Give me Isaiah chapter 1, verse 68. I mean, you, 168. I want to tell you something. Like Does it, right, th we have a problem with what, we, have a, we need to clarify what it means to be saved. Sis, 
We need to clarify what it means to be saved. We need to clarify what it means to be saved. Let's yeah. Look, they just lost twice. That's not, that's not our problem. They still run. If they went, they try to get done right now. Young people would look out for them. Where do we go? Where do we go? And when he got crucified, where do we go? Where do we go when we're at the bottom of society? Where do we go and what do we do when we're at the bottom? We got to go to them because they are the ones in charge. Our people are not in charge of nothing. We lose chapter 1 and verse 68. And this is the problem right here. That's hatred for our people. Whenever we say that we are the greatest people on earth, whenever we say we're the greatest people on earth, here comes a black woman want to be mad because we say we're, that you're greater than you're greater than other men. You're greater than other nations. That's a problem. Man. That's a problem. How is it a problem? We are all these are these are all 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 these are Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. For he has visited and redeemed his people. But that God has visited and redeemed his people. I ain't got time to worry about no white folk. I got time to worry about mine. Yeah, I'm exempt. Bro, let the Bible speak. Let God speak. Now we need help. I'm exempt. I feel like I understand. My only point is there are white people that are suffering. That's not our business. But look, look, why, why do we have to? Why were you worried about this so bad? Hey, wisdom of Solomon. Because I have white friends. I have white people. See, that's what this conversation makes sense. Listen, that, that's the problem. It makes sense. You was right. If you go to your friends, look, if you go to your friends right now, listen. If you go to your friends right now and tell them that Jesus is black, they won't be your friends no more. Oh God. They will not be your friends no more, sis. If you if you saw it, I'm telling you right now. See what you got. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18 and verse 7. We didn't make it about So of thy people. Well, let, let God speak, bro. Let God speak. I know you're passionate, bro. I'll pray to the Father. But let God speak. Let him do it. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous and destruction of the enemy. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous. But well, for our people, we got to accept the salvation of those who follow after Christ. Right. Read. And the destruction of the enemy. And the destruction of those who do not follow. And the destruction of those who are not of the 12 tribes, the children of Israel by blood. By the lineage. Yes. Don't step back now, sis. This is where loss is given to. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.